A rapturous welcome for the team from Afghanistan. Their visas rejected twice and only granted by the intervention of the US president. Yemen is one of the countries on the no-fly list, but their representatives were given special permission to travel into the United States. This is a gathering like no other, as political differences are set aside in a remarkable display of global unity. The Palestinian team enters, and in the background, the team from Israel applauds. And while the competition to win is intense, there are no losers here. Most of the robots don't win. All of the kids, all of the competitors win. You're already winners by all the time. For these girls, just being here is a victory. This is where their journey began, in the city of Herat in western Afghanistan. And despite the initial refusals of their visas, they never gave up the hope of traveling to the U.S. and competing. Nobody can predict the future. But if you want it enough, then you can make it happen. We did the best we could, and are hopeful that our robot, in competition with those from other countries, will win a title. For two days, the team from Afghanistan competed with those from more than 150 nations. They finished well down the list, but will take back with them to Herat pride and the hope that a team will compete again. The silver award for courageous achievement goes to Team Afghanistan. And what will be taken away by all is a sense of togetherness. Forged among these teenagers, the knowledge that across borders, cultures and languages, there are others just like them. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington.